Have you ever wondered how we memorize words? Or why some words stick in your mind while others seem to disappear as quickly as you learn them? Yes, the mystery and magic of memory is something that scientists have been studying for centuries. Our brain, this incredible organ, has a dual system for storing information, the short-term and long-term memory. When we first stumble upon a new word, our short-term memory steps in. It's like a temporary holding spot, but here's the catch, it's pretty small. It's constantly updating itself, making room for fresh information. So, if we want to remember a word long after we've learned it, we need to transfer it to our long-term memory. This is the grand library of our minds with seemingly unlimited space. It's where we store everything from our deepest fears to our happiest moments. So, how do you make sure a new word stays with you long after you've learned it? Let's dive into some smart strategies. First up is repetition. It's simple, but it's effective. Repetition is like a bridge, helping you transport words from your short-term to your long-term memory. Why? Because each time you repeat a word, your brain strengthens the connections that link this word to its meaning. It's like building a path in a forest. The more you walk it, the clearer it becomes. So, incorporate repetition in your learning. Practice the new words daily, say them out loud, write them down. So remember, repetition is key. Next, we have association. This is where your imagination comes in. Picture this, you're learning the word serene. You could associate it with a tranquil lake at sunrise, the feeling of peace washing over you. Or pair it with similar words like calm, peaceful. By creating these connections, the word becomes more than just a definition. It's an image, a feeling, a network of related concepts. This makes the new word stick in your memory like a vivid picture. With association, learning new words can become a creative and enjoyable process. Third, we have contextual learning. It's all about understanding the word in its natural habitat. Think of it like this. Words are animals, and sentences are their ecosystem. By seeing how a word interacts with others in a sentence, we get a fuller picture of its meaning and usage. This becomes a vivid memory, helping the word migrate from short-term to long-term memory. To use this method, when you encounter a new word, don't just memorize it, rather, learn the sentence it's in. So, always aim to learn words in context, not in isolation. And finally, teach others. Sharing is caring, after all. The act of teaching a new word to someone else is a powerful way to reinforce it in your own memory. When you explain the meaning, usage, and context of a word, you're revisiting and reinforcing that information. It's like giving your brain a second, more thorough tour of the new word. So don't just learn for yourself, take a step further. So don't keep those new words to yourself, share them and teach others. So there you have it, four practical tips to help you move new words into your long-term memory. Let's do a quick recap. First, we have repetition. By repeating a new word often, you're more likely to remember it. Next, we have association. Linking a new word to something familiar helps you recall it easily. Then comes contextual learning. Using new words in various contexts can help cement them in your memory. And finally, teach others. Sharing your knowledge with others not only helps them, but also reinforces your own understanding of the word. Now it's your turn to put these methods into practice. Give them a try and observe how they transform your vocabulary retention. Remember, our brains are incredible machines capable of storing vast amounts of information. Start using these tips today and you'll soon see that remembering new words isn't as hard as you might think. Happy learning!